case, and this is my flame shooting talking pumpkin that's connected to the cloud. Um, so first I'm going to demonstrate what it does and then uh, bring you in a little bit and show you uh, some of the components that I used. So no wires connect the computer and the pumpkin and it should shoot a flame here in just a moment. And it will continue to shoot flames until I turn it off. So I'll let it shoot one more. And then I can turn it off. And you can see that it's no longer shooting flames. So if I can get you to come in, I will uh, show you what, what components are in the pumpkin. I know it looks a little messy in there, uh, but here you have an ESP8266. Over there you have an audio uh, recording and playback module, and then your standard blade plug -in, or your standard blade auto sprayer. Uh, I hacked the back of it to take control of the switch and turn off the motion sensing in the Glade auto sprayer so that I can control it over. Now if I turn it on again, you can see it flame from inside. There we go. Should start talking and then it'll flame. Thanks for watching. So this is the ESP8266. And right now I have it powered from an external power source. Um, but it can be powered from two alkaline batteries and run several hours. This is a uh, playback and record module. Uh, that basically you record a sound and then play it back. I have it wired up to an 8 ohm just PC desk speaker. And then the uh, Glade Auto Sprayer. This is the uh, vertical kind. Uh, they also have a, uh, or sorry, this is the smaller kind. They also have a larger version of this. And uh, these are the internals to that, to another one, so that I could show you uh, the modifications that I did. Um, so anyway, the ESP8266 connects to my wireless network and then continuously pulls uh, for a uh, value change to see if it should fire off the pumpkin or not. It does that about every five seconds. Once it gets a signal to say, yes, fire off a pumpkin, then it turns on this transistor circuit here. This is just your normal uh, NPN transistor that all it does is send a signal to the um, playback and record module to play the entire thing. And I'll play it for you. So then that is uh, also wired up to the Glade sprayer so that whenever the uh, flatulence is played it actually uh, pulls this down. So I can show you that. Whenever you plug in the Glade sprayer, it automatically does one test fire. You'll see the LED blink, and then it pulls this down. But now I can depress it anytime I want to just by crossing these wires. So that is wired up to this transistor circuit so that it'll depress those wires anytime that I want. <clears throat> which in turn shoots this out into a candle uh, lighting it on fire and spraying a stream of fire. The internals of the Glade plug-in, if you look at them, there's just a button right about here and then a movement sensor. And the motion sensor basically just r measures readings from this light to see if the light values have changed. So you can take a piece of tape or anything and cut this, cover this up or you can desolder it from these two joints on the back. Now the joints that I used are this one right here. Oh, I'm sorry. This one here. And this one here. If you solder two wires to that and then cross them together, it makes the uh, motor turn just as though you had hit this button to test fire. Thank you for watching.